Ooh, Laurel. We've got the Laurel spirit uh, here at Snack Boy. Back in the early 90s, after I graduated high school, many of you know what I did to pay the rent. I was a singing waiter aboard the luxurious cruise line Spirit of Washington, where on a daily basis you could see me playing Elvis Presley and the Phantom of the Opera. Ooh, welcome aboard the Spirit of Washington, where all your dreams can come true. Oh, well, I'll tell you one dream that did not come true aboard the Spirit of Washington, people. Okay, but snack boy, back in the early 90s, you didn't have a lot of money. How did you get back and forth from your gig to your house? How did you do it, snack boy? Did you catch the bus? The answer is no. How about the metro, snack boy? We know you took public transit. Again, no. Well, then, snack boy, had you your own car? No, I didn't. I drove my parents' minivan. Oh, sure, a lot of you might scoff and think that you're better than a minivan. It's not sexy. It doesn't even get greatest gas mileage on earth, but people, my parents finally trusted me. I finally had my driver's license, and they looked at me and they said, Terry, you're working hard. You're doing a good job aboard that boat, darn it, and we want to reward you, make you a deal. You can drive our minivan to and fro the spirit of Washington on one condition. <laughs> I said, what, Mommy? What, Daddy? Well, on the condition that you, A, fill the car up with gasoline. I said, uh-huh. And B, Terry, that you change the oil. And remember, it's very important to have the oil changed. Any good citizen makes sure that his oil is changed every 2,500 miles. I said, Mommy and Daddy, I could be that good citizen. Oh, thank you for trusting me with this responsibility, Mommy. Oh, thank you, Daddy. And I started driving all the way to Washington, D.C. in minivan style. But, Snack Boy, where is the drama? Where is the meat of the story? Oh, it's coming, people. So that one day, I remember it was a Thursday, and I was working the dinner shift aboard the Spirit of Washington, where all your dreams can come true. And that night, I put on my gold lame vest, and I put on my tuxedo and my red cummerbund and red bow tie, and I was filled with the spirit. I was ready to sing. I was ready to share with the crowd presence and stamina and bring them many cocktails and drinks for a low, affordable tr price and a moonlight, moonlit cruise to boot. But one thing I did not do, I had not changed the oil in over 3,000 miles. That's right, I was irresponsible. People, I forgot, look at me. I was guilty of irresponsibility in that night. The show started as we were pulling off the dock. Then band started flying, and we started singing, Ooh, spirit, yeah, we've got the spirit. Ooh, yeah, spirit, let's rock the ship today. Kooky wookie, yeah, spirit. I turned around, and there... On the dock, I saw in the, in the darkening sky a fire. And I kept singing, Ooh, spirit, we've got the spirit. Let's rock the ship today. Yeah. And I noticed that the fire belonged to none other than my parents' minivan. So I hadn't changed the oil. How was I to know? I know nothing about the workings, the inner technological workings of a minivan. And there it was against the night, on fire in front of the meter. And I, I tried to keep singing, but I couldn't. Ooh, spear. And I didn't know what to do. The crowd was looking at me, and there was three other singers on stage, and I did nothing other than the simple act of putting the microphone closer to my mouth. And I said, I'd like to pause the show for a minute. My car is on fire. I'm going to go talk to the captain. And the band kept playing. Ooh, spirit. And all the other singers were looking at me like, Terry, we've got the spirit. And I ran into the boathouse. I was like, turn the boat around. Turn the boat around. My parents' minivan is on fire. And they're like, get down there and finish the show. Terry, the show must go on. And as the sh ship drifted down, this is a true story, people. As the ship the spirit of Washington drifted into the ever-darkening night. 
The last image of land I saw was the fire truck pulling up to my parents' minivan and putting it out. But the show went on. And that night as I sang Elvis Presley and I quivered my lip and sang all shook up from the bottom of my heart, the show went on as the minivan burned into the sky. Cut. <laughs>